Hi everyone, my name is Anurag Parwar. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering at Stony Brook University. We have developed this app called Motion Gen, which is an iOS and Android app for kinematic synthesis and simulation of planar four bar linkages. The app can solve the motion generation problem. It can compute both the type and dimensions of a linkage system for a given motion. This app has been developed by my colleague, Professor Jeff Kerr, and myself in the mechanical engineering department. The app was supported by a talent grant from the TLT at Stony Brook University, as well as a SUNY Innovation Instruction Technology Grant. The app is essentially an implementation of some of our research in mechanism science area, where we are trying to compute both the type and dimensions of linkage systems as well as uh, planar platforms and spatial robots uh, for the motion generation problem. So who is motion gen for? The motion gen is for machine designers. Uh, linkages form the heart of any machine and we wanted to create a nice intuitive easy to use app that engineering students could use to design small machines and robots. Uh, we use this app in our freshman design innovation class at Stony Brook, as well as in some of the higher level classes. The app is also for tinkerers who are trying to design small machines. Uh, machine designers in industry can of course uh, benefit a lot from this app because we believe this is the first app of its kind that provides true type computation capabilities. Uh, kinematicians of course uh, would love to use this app because it does kinematic synthesis and simulation of linkage systems. So what is motion gen? Well, the question is really, what can it do for you? So the easiest thing that you can potentially do with this app is simulate planar four bar linkages. Uh, and the way this app differs from some other apps in simulation is that instead of drawing four bars and specifying one of the bars to be the fixed one or the pivots to be the fixed one, you essentially assemble dialed constraints of planar four bar linkages. Every four bar has two dihedral constraints. Uh, you basically draw those constraints, which have simple geometric shape, and you have a four bar linkage. At the same time, for the inverse problem, which is where you want to compute a linkage system for a given motion, you do not try to solve for the new mechanism by looking up a database or something like that. In fact, our algorithm is fairly simple and fast, so it can compute both the type and dimensions in real time. And it tries to basically give you the geometry constraints of a given motion, which can be picked two at a time to get a four bar linkage. The way you can specify your problem is by specifying a set of poses. Now each pose is essentially a position and orientation. It is very well known in kinematics area that you can get a four bar that can go through five positions exactly, five poses exactly. Uh, if you have more than five positions, only an approximate solution can be found in general because the problem becomes uh, a little bit over constrained in that case. Uh, if you have less than five positions, so five happens to be the magic number, if you have less than five positions, you have an under constrained system of problem. In that case, you, need, you can specify more constraints to make the problem fully constrained. And if you have, let's say, four positions, you can specify a fixed pivot line constraint. Essentially, that constraint says that you want your fixed pivots of uh, RR diets, the volute to volute diets, to lie on a line. If you have three positions, you can specify fixed pivot locations. You can say, this is where I want my pivots to be. Uh, as long as the system is fully constrained, it can solve the problem for you. If you have more than five positions, you can find an approximate solution. And among those poses, you can specify a few of the poses to be exact one. And in some of the other videos, we'll be demonstrating how we can solve each of those problems. So what are the diets and what are the constraints? Uh, if you look at a planar four bar linkage where every joint is a revolute joint or a hinge, you have a coupler, which is the link right in the middle that is shown in, in pink over here. You can take this mechanism apart to get two diodes uh, and each diode provides a geometry constraint for the coupler motion. Uh, 
and those constraints over here are essentially circular constraints. So if you look at this point, which is a moving pivot, it traces a circular path, same thing over here. For planar four bar linkages, three most commonly found diagonal constraints are a circular constraint for an RR diode, a fixed line constraint for a PR diode, where P stands for prismatic or sliding joint, and R stands for revolute joint. And for an RP diode, uh, the constraint is that we have a line which is always tangent to a circle. In most of the scenarios, the radius of the circle is zero, so this prismatic joint essentially passes through this revolute joint and you get a swinging block kind of configuration. It has a bunch of other features as well, like you can import a camera or a gallery image, you can export your synthesized simulated mechanism to a PDF format or to XML format. XML is not something that we really people will be needing right now, but this is for future purposes. You can save and load uh, already designed mechanisms, you can reverse engineer a mechanism. Again, we will explain what, what this really can do for you in some other videos. So how does it compute linkages? Now this is a question of really theory, but I'll give you a short answer over here. If you have a given motion specified as a set of poses, the algorithm essentially looks for points on this moving object which trace either a circular path or fix a straight line or a line tangent to a circular path. If it finds those constraints, it can assemble a four bar linkage for you, which can go through these positions exactly or approximately. So in this case, what we're showing is that you have an RR diode uh, and you have a PR diode that can be assembled together to get a four bar linkage. A somewhat long answer for this question uh, is not something that I would dare to answer in this video, but essentially it involves a bit of aesthetic math using planar quaternions, kinematic mapping, uh, as well as some linear algebra, singular value decomposition, least square fitting. So if you are interested in learning more about uh, what the real algorithm is, uh, you'll find those answers in some of these references that we have listed. If you decide to use this app in your class or anywhere else, we would appreciate if you can cite these papers.